Hi everyone, I really hope you're enjoying this power saving vlog challenge, proudly sponsored by and a collaboration with Origin Energy. Now, thank you to everyone who's been sharing with me your power saving tips. And I just want to share with you, I have just cooked the perfect scrambled eggs with a tip from a subscriber that said switch the heat off before you've actually finished hook cooking and let the residual heat cook the food naturally. And I have made the most delicious looking scrambled eggs I can't wait to eat. Now, if you haven't already subscribed, please make sure you do because I'm about to share with you the results from my energy audit. Really interesting and really motivating. On my way to work and just seeing more rubbish in the street, I'm gonna quickly pick it up and put it in the bin. We all need to do a little bit to help. All right, I now have the results of my energy audit and I'm gonna share with you right now. Now, the results of this were incredibly insightful. I feel like I have so much more confidence and so much more knowledge as to how I consume energy in my home. And by knowing and understanding this, I can then make decisions and I can make choices around my own value system so that I can reduce my consumption of power and I can save money. So to get started, what I learned was the three or four areas where my home actually drains the most amount of energy, which is the dishwasher, the washing machine, the fridge, and the dryer. They actually take up 57% of my energy consumption. Now, I always assumed or um, thought I was a high consumer of energy. I, I'm gonna admit, there are times where I'm really lazy and I just throw things into the dryer without thinking or accidentally walk out of the home with like the heating or the air conditioning on. But as it turns out, I actually am not too bad. For my local area, the average consumption per day is around about 18.5 kilowatts. Now, I only use apparently 12.2, which means my energy is costing me approximately $4.33 per day. But this is where it gets really interesting. I now know the breakdown as to what these appliances are costing me every time I use them. So for example, my washing machine is costing me 24 cents per load. Now that to me seems great value for money and I'm not going to feel guilty every time I use my washing machine. Of course, I will keep it up on the high spin cycle so it comes out drier. The next thing is my fridge and that uses 1.44 kilowatts of power each day, which costs me around 45 cents per day. Now, obviously I wouldn't even question the value of that because it keeps my food fresh um, for as long as possible. What was interesting though, is actually my dryer, not just per day, but per load, my dryer is costing me oh, $1.33 per load. Now, I don't value that at all. That is just, you know, being lazy by not putting stuff on the washing line or even just hanging it off the banister rails as I did in frugal February and manifesting March makes sense. I don't, I'm gonna make sure I really cut down my usage of, dry, of using a dryer and really only save it for days where it's wet and the house is really cold and just simply not drying things or even maybe partially air dry clothes and just finish them off in the dryer just for a few minutes. This information is incredibly insightful. And another thing, and this is something that my mother always told me is, always take the lint out of the dryer. Not only is it a fire hazard, but it actually reduces the efficiency of your dryer. So every time you use your dryer, make sure you clean the lint, um, I guess, container each time. Now, I'm gonna be continuing on sharing with you more bits that I, I pick up as I read through my energy reports and understand more. And I'm gonna go start talking about green power and also talking about solar power because that's something I've also um, looked into. So if you haven't already subscribed, please make sure you do. And I have one last quick thing I wanna share with you. Now, some of the very um, switched on subscribers have noticed I've painted my floors. They've been lime washed. Now, whilst this was not directly related to my power saving um, challenge, I actually did this to try and lighten the home so that I wouldn't need to have lights switched on as much. 
Previously, my floor was really dark and during like a beautiful sunny day, I had to have so many lights on in the house and it was obviously a massive waste of money as well as a massive waste of power and bad for the environment. So I had seven coats of lime wash applied to these floors. They look fantastic and the home is so much brighter and I'm definitely finding I'm not, I still need a few lights switched on, but I'm not needing nearly as many. So it has been, um, you know, worthwhile investment. And also I found that it's actually lightened up my mood. All right, everyone, if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do. Ciao for now.